Moving up. Getting set now for the last. Four running. And up they come. Trials here again at Warrigal on the 20th of Feb. So two weeks time. Our next race day. It's getting closer all the time. Still a little while yet till the Warrigal Pacing Cup and Trotting Cup on the uh, Easter long weekend of course. Set to go, the veteran Melton Little Max comes up to the inside. Chris Hunter in the cart today. Live in doubts a bit uh, away from the gate on the outside. They're set to run and they're racing this time. High Tech Fury right on the gate at the, uh, the dispatch. Has worked its way across to find the lead pretty clearly into the first corner. Into second was Melton Little Max. Uh, third spot is Noark and up and out to the tail end of the field is Live in Doubt. So after firing across and finding the lead, he just tries to drop anchor in front here with this leader and that's High Tech Fury. No arcing ups on a forward move around the outside is caught without cover but going forward as they swing to the straight the first time. Melton Little Max is settled in third spot at the moment is behind the leader and last of all is Live In Doubt. Down the straight the first time they have just on two circuits left to go and No arcing ups posted outside of this leader which is High Tech Fury. About a half length separates them at the judge with two to travel. Heading into the back straight once again, third spot is Melton Little Little Max and last of the four runners is Live In Doubt. Out of the straight and towards the back, they're inside the 1500 metres and the leader is High Tech Fury. Leads by a length. Second, sitting up uh, on the outside, is uh, the uh, young horse there, Noark, and up in third position over on the inside is uh, Melton Little Max, the senior horse of the field, and last of all as they head down the back straight once more is Live In Doubt. To the 1200 metre mark now, the midway uh, between turns shortly and the leader is uh, still High Tech Fury. Noark and up, still can't get across, is happy just to sit outside the uh, horse behind the leader at the moment, so facing the breeze at this point in time. Melton Little Max is third with a smother over on the inside and Live In Doubt three back the pigs is last of all. About to turn into the straight this time. They have just over a circuit left to go. About a thousand metres left to travel in the final event and High Tech Fury has made the play in front. No arcing up in second. Live in doubt comes off the pigs now. In fact it's going to go three deep here as this other one starts to drop out and Melbourne Little Max is back on the inside is now last. The circuit to go and out of the straight they hit into the final lap and Living Doubt's taken three wide at the bell and now going forward. In fact he's run straight past the others and gone to the front. Living Doubt takes over going to the back the final time. Driver puts a bit of speed into the race from High Tech Fury in second now with a drop on the leader. Melton Little Max drifts back to last there after the other horses made their moves and Noah Canup's never seen the pigs but is second last the outside. In the back the final time they're still tightly bunched towards the 450 metres. Leader as they go off the back straight there is uh, Live in doubt. High Tech Fury ran right up behind it in second. Has got the drop on the leader now. No arcing up starts to drop out after having a torrid run and Melton Little Max needs it out on the inside. On the turn, 200 metres to go. Live in doubt kicked away. Found five metres. Trying hard in second spot was High Tech Fury. Melton Little Max gets out, but the bird might have flown. Live in doubt corners nicely clear and given a couple of taps of the whip, he's raced right away and away goes Live in doubt to score easily. And the last Live in doubt down to the wire will score by about six or seven metres. High Tech Fury's battled on nicely for second. Little uh, Melton Little Max has run third. And that gap to Noah can up who had the tired run and dropped out to finish at the rear.